How many calories should I be consuming per day? There's really no simple answer to this very common question. It's not as easy as saying for your age, weight, and gender, you need X number of calories per day to lose weight. It also incorporates factors like your height, your activity level, and your basal metabolic rate, which is how many calories your body burns at rest for fuel. There are tons of online calculators that can help you gauge how many calories you need to take in per day in order to reach your goals, or you can chat with a registered dietitian for guidance. Now, a calorie deficit is when you consume fewer calories than you burn in a day. And one concept that you've probably heard of is the idea that if you have a 500 calorie deficit per day, that equals a 3,500 calorie deficit per week, which leads to one pound of weight loss per week. But it's really not that simple because when you start to lose weight through calorie deficit alone, your brain panics because it thinks you're starving to death. So your metabolism compensates by burning fewer calories at rest and eventually you stop losing weight. This is a process called adaptive thermogenesis. So the whole concept of continuing to lose the pound per week indefinitely is flawed because if this continued and your body didn't compensate, eventually you would die. And this is where medications can come into play because the fact is you do need a calorie deficit in order to lose weight and medications that can increase fullness or decrease appetite can help you do that. But equally importantly, they trick your brain into allowing you to continue to lose weight so your metabolism doesn't sabotage your efforts. So the bottom line, there isn't really a simple answer to this really common question, but a combination of fewer calories and obesity medications can help you to optimize your weight and reach your goals.